Students, faculty, and staff at Missouri S&T have stepped up with the power of technology and ingenuity to address the anticipated shortage of protective masks in Phelps County. KRCG 13's Elizabeth Hoffman got a video tour of the effort to 3D print masks and face shield brackets on the Rolla campus. She joins us live from her home with that story. Well, Kermit, most students have already moved out for the semester, but for the few that haven't, they have lots of work to do. They're hard at work at the Student Design Center. They are using 3D printers to fabricate prototype masks and face shield brackets. Now, there's 12 different 3D printers that are being used for this project. Now, the Director of Medical Research at Phelps Health tells that s and officials that the prototypes are, quote, phenomenal. Andrew Cariega is the spokesperson for Missouri s and and he says student response and involvement has been overwhelming. Missouri s and students are, are great because they are in many ways, many of them are makers, they're creators, they're innovators, and this gives them an opportunity to really show their stuff and to do it in a way that does good for the community. In Missouri, COVID-19 has impacted over 900,000 students, and while many schools have set return dates, some have closed for the year. Before her school shut its doors, Shelby Slusser was looking forward to traditions like prom, senior week, and graduation, but now she's afraid those memories will be canceled altogether. Slusser was disappointed when her final choir concert was canceled, but it was the moment she was told she couldn't go back to school that made her take to social media and express exactly how she felt. That night I was just really upset. It was school had just got out and I was thinking, you know, I didn't realize that this was gonna be my last day. I didn't get to close my locker for the last time knowing that it was gonna be the last time or tell my teachers bye or, you know, do all those lasts knowing that they were be my last. And, I was just kind of upset thinking about all that, you know. Slusser plans to attend East Central College in Union, whether she walks at graduation or receives her diploma in the mail. Chris Cottle took to downtown Columbia last week with a large cardboard sign to spread a positive message. The message reading, we are in this together and you are so awesome. Cottle tells me he usually hands out small cards with messages to spread joy, but due to social distancing, he decided to make a sign. He says he hopes the sign allows others to pass along compassion and even down the road that the kindness will continue. Many people drove by snapping pictures and sharing it to social media. Cottle says putting smiles on people's faces is what makes him feel amazing. You can tell people that drove up to the stop sign or whatnot, um, you know, didn't know what to expect and then they read the sign and you could just see it, it go from just a, I'm, I'm here existing to, oh my gosh, you know, this is, um, this is a great message. So just seeing people's, you know, frowns turn to smiles was pretty, pretty heartwarming. Once we're through this, that everybody has something that's going on in their day-to-day -day lives and just a little bit of compassion and kindness can go a long way.